Okay, so this will be my third video on loose review <laughs> of the Anastasia subculture palette. It is, if you've seen, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make them three separate videos because that sounds like a lot. Then again, this other YouTuber that I watched, I'm gonna link her below. She, she, um, she, she split her review into two separate videos because, um, well, <laughs> it's a hard palette to use. So, um, but not that you can really, you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt because I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, anyway, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna get into it. I took notes, yeah, I took notes on the four videos that I watched about the subculture palette just to back myself up because <laughs> I wanted to like this palette so much. Like, it's so pretty. I love it. Everything about it, I love it. It's, it's, I mean, other than, you know, the quality, but, um, Raw Beauty Christy, pretty sure that's her name. I'm gonna link her below. She said that she thinks, she thought that the colors were kind of like 70s inspired, and I can totally see it in 70s is my favorite decade, so I can totally see why I was so drawn to it. Um, this was my first, um, big, like, this was my first big girl, um, makeup palette purchase, and it probably wasn't the best one to get, but I love it. I mean, I love the colors. I'm gonna try it one more time, just so you can see maybe what I'm talking about. I might go a little, like, less crazy with it. I mean, you can't, you can only go but so subtle with it. Like, I'm, it's Anastasia, their colors are always pigmented, and, um, I'm not gonna bore you with swatches, because if you want to see swatches, you can, you can go to their website, you can go to their YouTube, probably. I don't know if they have a YouTube, actually. They probably do. Um, but so many people have been doing swatches, and I kind of, kind of feel like her. She said that she didn't think swatches, she thought swatches were kind of like a waste, because some products swatch really pretty and don't perform that way, and then vice versa. And I can agree. Um... I might try to take it pretty simple because I'm a little scared of this palette. I mean, like mine already came chipped when I like it when I opened the box. It came chipped, and like apparently people have been complaining about broken palettes, and I can totally vouch for them. Mine, mine came chipped. Um, Roxy, it came chipped. Like it, apparently, like Norvina said. Um, something on Twitter maybe about um, like all palettes pass a drop test okay I mean do they tape the palette like do they tape them in a box and um, then drop them because I don't I, didn't, I don't really think they're gonna go through all that trouble and then untape them and open them up and see if they pass or not like because they didn't check mine <laughs> Anyway, try the Modern Renaissance palette. I said that before. I do want to try it because everybody says that's why everybody was expecting so much out of this palette was because the Modern Renaissance palette was apparently amazing and I have been wanting to try it for months, but I got this one because the colors spoke to me more. Like, I don't know, I just, they, they're very pretty colors and um, all the colors are like my accent colors in my closet. So, Raw Beauty Christy, she said that like, she actually, her video was intense. I really, I suggest you go watch it. It, you, she compared the two, um, the two backs. I don't want to like tilt mine because product will spill everywhere. Well, I say that, I mean it. Uh, because Roxy is chipped. <laughs> I don't want to, I want to risk her. Um, but she compared like the products, the ingredients on the back 
uh, with Modern Renaissance. And Modern Renaissance list was so much bigger. Yeah, it was so much bigger. And I mean, I don't know. She said like maybe they have a simpler formula now, but it's not working. <laughs> I don't like it. I try to apply Dawn as like a base, like I always do. Yes, I have dark circles. I'm like prone to them. But I mean, I couldn't really sleep last night. Maybe I was too busy thinking about returning the palette. Apparently these are all new colors except for fudge. And fudge is in here, like it's a color in here. It's like a brown. Christy, she, she compared fudge in this palette with Anastasia's um, older fudge color and they performed totally different so it totally it backed up her theory of different ingredients in lee dixon artistry she said this is not a very good beginner palette of course i saw her video after i had ordered it so and then the one the youtuber that made me want the palette in the first place her name was like at lee or something like that she um she's on their pr list um i just i just thought it would be nice to disclose that, um, not that important, like, you still have to be honest, but she was totally unfazed by the palette in her video, like, she was just like, yes, we know that the palette is pigmented, Anastasia, they're pigmented, and she just seemed completely unfazed by it, but it still didn't seem to work as well for her, like, I mean, it, she's... Her look was beautiful, but she had to blend for so long, and I was just like, I don't know, girl. Um, Mercury, which is like this kind of grayish color. So, I mean, that, that's something there, you know. I was talking to my friend, Adora. Well, I was telling her, I was just like, yeah, these videos are terrible. Like, these videos are trash. I totally, and I was, I totally, um, like, I, this palette was totally wasted on me. Um, because... I'm not using it correctly. Not performing well for me. I'm not, maybe I'm not, maybe it's me. I was like freaking out and um, um, well, it just, these videos just kind of justify. Maybe it's not me, you know what I mean? It probably still is like a little bit me. Like I spent majority, like I'm still in high school, but I spent the majority of high school not doing my makeup in the morning but um in class in the morning like i just wasn't one of those girls which nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with being one of those girls nothing wrong with not being one of those girls i just wasn't one of those girls see a lot of people say that this is patchy like they say it's patchy and i can it is rather patchy oh <laughs> okay all star just like forewarning this palette will test your patience definitely um if you're judging my eyebrows I can understand my sister does it all the time I have this thing where like I pick in my eyebrows it's actually got a name and like I pick up my eyelashes and my hair and everything it's like a stress thing it's kind of like biting your nails but worse so I might do a video on it I'm not sure I mean I could totally f still fill them in might do that one day when I get into makeup but I don't know if I'll ever really get into makeup. <laughs> when I did this look yesterday, I was just, I mean, when I, when I did a look, two looks yesterday with this palette and my boyfriend was here, 
I was just like, so I'm guessing we're gonna hire a professional for like the wedding. If we, you know, stay together. He was just like, yeah. <laughs> and I would definitely recommend like applying only like a little, like tapping off the excess. I mean, that's just, it's just a given probably, but like tap off the excess, only put a little bit on your lid to begin with and then blend it out and get more because you can always get more but taking this stuff off sucks I'm not sure if I want to put cube or Dorn actually I think I might do both that's because I'm not gonna go outside today I know that so it's just like go a little extra you know what I mean <sighs> yeah I'm gonna probably put a Dorn um, which is like this gold color right over here and I'll probably put cube in my inner corner Christy she she made her look on her video she made her look and then she came back and showed how it performed throughout the day and it was so patchy so definitely I mean I don't know how these are gonna perform with like setting your face really well and primer and all that crap but you might have to go in heavy heavy hand with you know it's like a lot of um I don't want to say controversy because like that seems like a strong word for a makeup palette it's a big debate about this palette and whether people like it or hate it I don't know man something that I had said before was that when you try this palette it's like well I'm basically finished with the eye look I don't actually I don't think it's terrible for me especially <sighs> but I'm gonna go ahead and read off my notes on the palette okay it comes with two duo duochrome shades and they are cube and electric cube is the one that I have on my inner corner I don't have that much on I'm not like going crazy with it it's like it's pinkish and it comes off white in the palette. Like it looks white. Um, definitely spray something on your brush before you use the duochrome shades because they do not swatch well at all. They don't swatch well and uh, they don't perform well on your eyes if you do not spray something on your brush. All these people getting these crazy looks, they are definitely spraying something on their brush and they are using a ton of their product. Like, um, maybe the whole palette for two looks. I don't, I don't know <laughs> because I don't know how they're getting these things. I don't know. Maybe they're getting different palettes. <laughs> I'm probably going to return my palette. Um, nothing against Anastasia. I definitely still want to try the Modern Renaissance palette, but, um, this one just didn't do it for me. <laughs> and then Electric is like a light greenish color. It's really pretty. They're both really pretty. All the colors are very nice. Do your eye makeup first. Do not put on foundation, which I don't have any on. I just have moisturizer on my face. I'm not going to put any foundation or anything on. I'm probably just going to take the eye look off or maybe take a thumbnail picture and, you know, remove. The palette is currently out of stock if you do want it um, for some reason. It's, I don't know, if you want it, if you like a challenge, go ahead and pick it up. Um, it's not, and it's not limited edition, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just out of stock. And the shadows do not blend very well. They don't. Um, I don't, they don't blend as well as the Modern Renaissance palette so far as um 
people have said so many people have said that they don't blend as well it's just a stressful palette to work with honestly like you need to definitely get um if you're gonna be using this look like this these palette this palette every day get up maybe like an hour or 30 minutes before you need to start getting ready because just to do your eye look it just seems to look like a color block like it looks like color block like you can totally tell where every color is it just looks like color block which if you're into the color block thing trend I mean go for it but it's supposed to be blended like you could spend 30 minutes trying to blend this out it's gonna look color blocked that was all I wrote like um, I don't know it's just it's a hard palette to use and I know that I'm a beginner but that was crazy like it made me feel a little bad I was just like I didn't think I was this bad at makeup like I didn't think I was gonna be this bad at it like cuz I normally I like to wear eyeshadow like that's my thing I just like to wear eyeshadow I don't really do much I do recommend watching the other four videos um, at least video maybe watch it especially if you want to get the palette and you don't want to hear anything bad about it um, or if you're trying to decide but I do recommend if you do want to get the palette watch all four because it's in artistry I'm pretty sure that's her name uh, I just keep getting tongue-tied with it her, um, she was a bit more like real and honest kind of in my opinion about um, how like her struggle was using the palette because she used like she started using it on camera and um, yeah and she does makeup like she knows how to do it she knows what she's doing so beauty gurus have even found this palette to be hard to use so that's just something to keep in mind and um then um raw beauty christy she she was her video was just hilarious i it was a little bit longer but that was just because she kept she kept backing up her um her views about this palette she kept backing them up she was just like I'm gonna show you like how these swatch and I'm gonna show you these two comparisons she was <laughs> it was great um I loved it I loved all four videos they were all great they all had great looks with it um and once again Lee Dixon had two videos because she wanted to redeem herself I guess I didn't think the first look was that bad I really didn't um, and I had three videos because <laughs> and I never redeemed myself um, Like and subscribe if you would like to you don't have to Obviously um, Okay, that's that's it. I'm probably gonna go call and return the palette now uh, Okay, that's, I'm gonna write a little note like um, it, it needs to go to my credit card not um not this woman in Oregon. <sighs> okay, that's it. <laughs>